Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Here is my dynamic effort lower body workout of the week. It was a pretty good one, not gonna lie. So, let's get into it. So I did 10 sets of 2 with to a box with the safety squat bar and the purple bands. I didn't measure how much because honestly it felt like a hell of a ton of tension at the top. And the reps were moving pretty fast. Here is... 240 for the first five sets and then I did 270 for the last five sets as you can see here it's about 90 pounds based on what I've done before it's an estimate I didn't exactly measure it but all that matters is you're giving your body some resistance to press out against as the weight moves I gotta gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the speed now as you notice my knees aren't caving in, I'm driving out, everything is crisp. That's how you build a squat. Then I'm doing a movement I've never ever done before and that's deficit sumo deadlifts. These are great for the hamstrings. So if that's a weakness, I would definitely throw those in. I suck at sumo in general, so this is really good. But I feel like my positioning is great on these as well. Now, I'm not built for sumo. I'm not even built for deadlifts, to be honest. But I'm still constantly working on it, still trying to increase my lockout strength, my off-the-floor strength, and just complete, completely strengthen the muscles that are involved in the deadlift. I'm not just going to give up just because I'm not built for something. Because I'm built for bench, and my bench sucks. So you always have work to do in anything. Then, I love these. These are one of the best posterior chain back, glutes, hamstrings, traps, upper back, everything involved in the posterior chain. Snatch grip block pulls. You could do these from two inch blocks, three inch blocks, four inch blocks, any block you want. You can even do these from above the knee, slightly at the knee. Don't go too high, but you can do these with any height you want and you will get yoked from this exercise. Try doing them high reps rather than low reps, and they are a killer. On this set specifically, I had to breathe quite a few times, stare at the ceiling, ponder if I'm going to finish the set. It was not fun. Not, not fun, that's for sure. I think it's coming up now. See, you could see the breaks at the top are more and more and more. <laughs> it's actually funny to watch myself struggle in that regard because I remember what it felt like. Yeah, look at that. I'm I'm like, you know what? What's an extra two reps? Let's just keep it going. And finally done. Then I finished off with some glute ham raises and just, to, you know, an easier variation to add some additional volume to areas that I think need work. So, if you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments, and class is dismissed.